I'm Bert Kinister. This is the middle game. In the middle game, the cue ball or the object ball is going to travel farther than either in the long game or the short game. These are balls that are closer to the middle of the table. It's going to require more cue ball control. I think the middle game is actually harder than the short game or the long game. In the long game, the object balls don't have to aren't required to move a long distance to the to the pockets and the cue ball has to move a long distance giving it a, a larger margin of error. The middle game is probably the toughest uh, but the rewards are great if you can learn how to do it. We're going to show you a form for C, B, and A players and for those of you that aren't even up to that level the, this can be used to really bring yourself up. It's a little frustrating but we'll get it all together. I'm also going to show you the last form of the short game on here which I didn't have time for on the other and it may properly belong on the middle game. There's those things that you saw on the short game it was enough there that probably got pretty difficult for some people. You shouldn't be involved in this yet if you cannot do the first form of the short game where the balls were lined up parallel to each other. You should be fairly competent with that and feel fairly comfortable with that before you're involved over here. Alright let's get started with this. This is my friend Jeremy Chambers. He's going to help out smile. He's been practicing smiling all day. There he goes. <laughs> Just relax. It's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. If you do it, I'm not, I swear. <laughs> if you do it, I'm not. I'm going to try and come off the rail. Bottom left, probably okay. a little more left than bottom. Because okay, you've got to cross the line to get the angle on the seven. Mm, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You got straight. You got straight. You're still in action. You're still in action. You're still in action. Okay. Just going to try and get some distance between the cue ball and the eight ball by drawing the seven. That's perfect. That is perfect. That is perfect. Okay. This shot, I'm just going to use some bottom English. Come off this rail and this rail. Hopefully, come back to this side. Well, let's see. let's think about that. I think it's a little short. Let's think about that. I don't know if you've got right here. I don't know that if your ang your angle is so severe that you've got to come over here. That's usually with a more severe angle. I think if you can stay anywhere on or on this side of the line, you know, that's up to you, whatever you think. That's fine. You're right. You know, because you're taking a chance on the scratch in the side, you know what I mean? If you can stay on this side of the line, if you can't, you're doing it the right way. Okay. You know? Yeah, I think I'm just going to try and hold it to the rail, pop it up just a You know, you may be, the more I'm looking at it, you may be right. <laughs> Do what you want. Don't listen to me. I'm confused. <laughs> I, I am for you. you walk around at a different angle, you know, once you pop off of there, you're a winner for sure. No, I'm gonna go with your, your first opinion here. Lower right hand English gonna try and hold it there as much as possible. Oh, he did it too. See, I knew what I was talking about all the time. <laughs> I knew what I was talking about all the time. Okay. You do this and I'm buying you a steak. Hey, hey. <laughs> Pressure's on. Okay, uh, nine ball is pretty straight, so I'm going to bring it back, hopefully about a foot. Give myself a little bit of angle in the ten ball. And Ooh! <laughs> Sports it fans, was a that was a... <laughs> try that again, he miscued. <laughs> Jeez, I thought, if he could have got out, I swear I wouldn't have done it. I swear I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> That's all he was trying to do. Oh, God. Okay. This one I'm going to go with some bottom right. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that wasn't bad for a young man, I'm telling you right now. All right. Let's put this thing up and see what I do. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Fast and loose.
actually when you do this alone and you're doing it time and time again, you know, and you get to set it up and fool around with it, it's a lot of fun. I wouldn't want to do it for eight bucks though, I can tell you that. <laughs> I want some distance, I want to be out here a little bit, this is going to be a little low, little low uh, left. Ooh, that's distance, that's distance, that's distance, it's not too bad, low left again. You know what, here, I think I can get it with low left. That's using every bit of the table, every bit of the speed. You know, I was cowardly there. I should have gone off to this rail and bounced out. That was the angle I had. I hit it like a coward. Listen to what I say. Don't do everything I do. <laughs> I've just got to draw this back for a shot. And there's that famous low English shot again. I drew it three inches. No, I drew it four. I may be all right. Now I am coming over to this rail, back over to this rail, and out for a little angle on a five. Low English. the spot. Right here I'm going to just come back towards the center. I want to be on this side of the six ball. I want to come off because I want to be on this side of the seven. I'm just going to use low. That's enough angle. Control that center of the table children. Then you'll be stretching like this. Oh, God. <gasps> Woo. A little low left. That was low left on the preceding shot. This is going to be a little bit of low right. Not a lot of low. I don't want to be straight in. I want an angle on this. Not a big angle. The nine's next. Just a little low. That's not bad. That's not bad. Now this time I am going to come across and hit this rail to come out. I want to cross this line again to get on the nine. I'm not crazy about this angle, but this is the kind of stuff you, you've got to learn to control. I'm going to touch this with right. It's a hint of right, a zest of right. Just cross this line for the little angle I need on the 9 to get on the 10. And I got to get to the rail and out to so have an angle on this 10. Actually, I guess I don't the way it is, but that's what I'm after. And this is just going to be sliding ball with even less than a zest of right. Bring it on down. The only thing I want to make sure I don't do here is hit that 12. I'm going to come down. This is a touch of right, a little low. I'm just going to draw it back a little bit. And if I can pocket this ball, I'm headed for the Manicotti at Caesars. Best in the world. Cicero Avenue in Chicago. Best kept secret in Chicago. Ding dong daddy. <laughs> he was betting I wasn't.